Are you ready to jump into the super contest? Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right, I will. Uh, I will start us off, and I am going to roll with Chris's Washington football team plus ten at the Bills. I think that that Bills blowout last week has inflated this number. Josh Allen still did not look great last week at all. If you go look at his box uh, score, if you look at his his advanced stats, not great. Like something is is wrong there. I don't know what it is, but you know they did get a big big win and and. Washington could have trouble with this defense, but I think 10 points is too much here. I think Washington's defense is the deciding factor. This looks more like a touchdown game to me, so give me Washington plus 10. Yeah, I got the same bet, so we'll, we'll, we'll go there. The football team plus 10 is too many points. The defense is too good. I know they haven't looked great so far defensively. They are better. They're disciplined. They're going to be fine. And, um, and yeah, I, I think they're going to find a way to just keep this thing close. What, uh, what is your second pick? My, my second pick is uh, the Chargers. Chargers plus seven against the Chiefs. I think it's too many points. I just do. Historically, these teams play close games, and that's that. We uh, we both see this exactly the same. That is also my second pick as well. My third pick here, I'm going to take the Bucks to get it done on the road at the Rams. Uh, Tom Brady in big-time spots where he might feel like he's disrespected or it's somebody that could be trying to take his mantle. He is going to take charge of that. This is a conference foe. I think that he steps up in a big, big way. Give me the Bucks in a pick 'em over the Rams. Wow, we are super contest like Eskimo brothers here because <laughs> I got the Bucks as well. <laughs> it 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 seems like these lines might be a little too a little too stinky, right? Like they're, they're, we might get blown out on this. <laughs> Hey, listen, it won't be the first time I've gotten blown out. Hell, it won't be the last. No, no. You play the game. It's going to happen. You, uh, you are not incorrect on that. So, my fourth one here, I'm going to roll with the Panthers minus 7.5 at the Texans. you got a rookie quarterback going up against that Panthers defense. They have looked lights out thus far. Matt Rule doing what he does best in building teams up on the line of scrimmage. He will continue to do that. NFL, college, doesn't matter where he is. He knows how football games are won. And I think he will do the same thing here. I think seven and a half is way too low. This seems like a two touchdown game. I think the Panthers absolutely blow the doors off of them on Thursday night. Yeah, that was going to be one of my picks. I'm not going to take it. It was, it was, a, it was, it was in the conversation. I'm going to go with the Cincinnati Bengals okay. plus four and a half against the Steelers. I think the Steelers' offense is about to start seeing what happens when guys don't get along and things start getting real. Okay, this is like a real world promo here. This is, A, I think the most important player on the team is, is Johnson, and I don't know that he's coming back. He seemed healthy. He didn't miss a lot of snaps, but, man, Dante took a lot of hits, and he limped off the field a whole lot. Now, he, he kept coming back. At some point in time, those hits are going to keep adding up. He's the best player on the team. He's the most dynamic player on the team, in my opinion. Juju is completely washed. It, 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 this is why you don't go out and draft Najee. Najee has played 100% of the snaps. Najee has touched the ball a million times. And Najee is averaging like 2.2 yards a touch because the offensive line blows. Now you're, you're exactly right. You're exactly right. That's, uh, that's not one of mine. Now, I've, the way that you explained it, I feel like it probably should have been. My fifth pick this week. So, and I, I went four and one last week. I don't have the numbers pulled up. I should have pulled them up. But either way, you can look over on Winning Cures and Everything. Just click on picks, and you can go find our uh, our picks over there. But yeah, I went four and one last week after going one and four. So this week, who knows what to expect? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep betting against bad football teams, and I'm gonna bet against the Jaguars again. Give me the Cardinals minus seven and a half. I know that the hook is right there. I get it, but. This Cardinals team can put up points in bunches, and honestly, the Jags have trouble just about everywhere. Like they <laughs> Remember, this team got beat by the Texans by 16 points in Week 1, and I don't expect it to get a lot better. So I, I, think, I think the Cardinals are going to win this one by double digits. The fact that it's only 7.5, I don't know if that's because of how the Cardinals' defense looked against the Vikings, but I trust the Vikings much more than I trust the Jags right now. It doesn't seem like anybody's getting along over there. Uh, yes, Urban Meyer came out and said that he is not a candidate for the USC job. But, man, 
He does not look happy. The players do not look happy. They they don't seem to know what they're doing or what is expected of them. And when you got a situation like that, like this team could legitimately go 0 and 16. So we'll we'll see what happens. They got talent. You know, Trevor has made some amazing plays, but he has also made some boneheaded plays. And and I think this is ripe for for a double digit win for the Cardinals here. All right. This is not my pick, not my game. I'm not gonna comment on the game. <laughs> you brought up Urban Meyer saying he's not the USC candidate. He's not gonna go whatever. If Urban Meyer gave me my own address to get home, I wouldn't trust it. I wouldn't trust it. I'd, I'd hit every house in the neighborhood before I walked into that one because he's a lying sack of shit, okay? Yeah. So, that's, that's him saying that means nothing, okay? He might not get the job. He might not take the job. might not be offered, whatever. But that doesn't mean he's telling the truth because the man doesn't know how to tell the truth, all right? He's just a piece of crap. Anyway, neither here nor there. <laughs> Taking the Pats, laying the three. Saints, not – they're going to struggle again offensively two weeks in a row. I, Pats defense is going to smother them. I, I think the, they're coming into their own, and and we're going to win the game by a field goal or more. I'm good. I can I can understand that. So, Pats minus three. If Jameis has another bad outing, do you think that we get a Taysom Hill sighting? At no. I, I think the problem was they kept trying to give – they kept, kept trying to – Taysom got a lot of touches last week, okay? Yeah, yeah. And and they're trying to make something happen. They're trying to get a spark, whatever. I don't think that's working. Jameis Winston is a quarterback. He plays quarterback. I don't know what position Taysom Hill plays, but it ain't quarterback, okay? I think he could just be about anything other than quarterback. Like now, I, I know if that you're they're... sick of Jameis and you want to give my boy Ian a look, I don't know how close he is to ready, but I'm assuming not very at all because – None of these rookie quarterbacks have looked good. Throwing another rookie quarterback in against the Patriots just sounds like a terrible idea. Agreed. Agreed. But we'll see. We will see. All right. So Pat's minus three. All right. I think we're uh, I think we're wrapped up for this week. So you got All anything right, else you want to add in? I do not. I do not. It's been fun. I appreciate it. And uh, hopefully it's, we'll win some bets because a lot of them the same. No, you you were right about that. You, normally, that is a recipe for uh, disaster. Yeah, no, that's definitely a go the other way situation. No, you you're right about that. Not. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. All right. With that said, I'll uh, I'll go ahead and let you get out of here, and then I'll I'll wrap up the show. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B G and any at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything dot com or Chris at winningcureseverything dot com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.